Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Burstigy back here, and today we just got some amazing news regarding some upcoming content in the game, as well as what's going to be coming a little bit later. Now, the first part of this blog, they specifically want to highlight that they were able to close the gap between patch 2.4 and patch 2.5, and I got to respect it because it, it's been a long ride with the game, and to see that they're finally able to put content out a little bit faster, regardless of how big it is it's it still helps the game move forward right these past few patches have more been quality of life oriented but they definitely help in the grand scheme of things especially getting into later content now specifically talking about jane foster we have confirmation that she is coming out in june now we don't have a date but you can clearly make a little bit of a speculation considering they've already an, an initiated in the blog that they're going to be going over gameplay trailers dev, dev blogs live streams and all that as they do with every character so give that like maybe a week or two or you know expect the character to drop at the end of the month closer to when the movie obviously is going to drop so yeah you got a little bit of synergy there which i don't mind in this case i think it kind of helps with jane especially uh bringing her into a game where the story may be a little interesting how she gets here but you know we'll see how that goes um but more or less uh they go over a little bit of her abilities and obviously there will be some similarities to thor as they point out here but her heroics for the most part are all going to be different she will share some takedowns with thor but they will probably be tweaked a little bit as they mentioned to fit more of what jane is um and emotes and such like that she will share some gear perks but not necessarily gear which i'm specifically very happy about um the gear going forward has there's been a lot of changes right and a lot of it has been helpful and there's also been some things we want to see more of i would hope to see more melee oriented gear that she can take some use of um but i have a very interesting way i want to see her play when i am able to actually play her on the console because you know thor is they go crazy in this game um but let's get into it for after patch 2.5 and that is the amazing cloning labs now there have been some tweaks to it now if you weren't following miller and his information drops you wouldn't you wouldn't know that he already said this but there was there was big changes to it there's a new villain uh and they're obviously here they're talking about that now they're going to show you what happened after modok fell you know from the kree century and whatnot and for all the people out there who think kamala killed him You've been proven wrong now. Uh, but yeah, so Cloning Labs, uh, this isn't mentioned in the blog from what I can tell, but based on some other content creators' videos, you, I believe, will need to be 175 to take on this content. So do take on these events that are coming through, as well as if you really want to, do those raids, because being 175 seems like the minimum requirement, as far as I understand, or maybe I have that wrong. If I do, please clarify um, but yeah, that's from what I have understanding of because they didn't mention it in this blog, but other content creators are talking about that. Um, but yeah, so there's been a lot of changes to it. And obviously I think that was needed considering when it first dropped. Um, and if you haven't seen it, there's gameplay out there because it had dropped accidentally for people, but the, the boss fights and the way that the mission was structured was pre whatever the game is now. It, it, it just doesn't fit. Um, so whatever changes they made, I'm excited to see, and I'm excited to see what kind of challenges they offer in this version of the mission now. But yeah, that's pretty much what we have to look forward to. Um, I am thoroughly excited to see what happens even beyond this because the the shift the shift in the team has been uh, really great. Uh, I know that you know the embracer thing is still going on. I'm hopeful that this game will make it even beyond 2022 and even beyond 2023 um, with the shift because you can tell that there is a little bit of extra sense of passion for it now. Like there, there's a mission. They want to succeed. They want to keep going. You could tell. There's a lot more interactions on Twitter. You know, there's you, you could tell. But yeah, this has been everything from the blog so far. If anything else comes out, I will try to talk about it. But Definitely do check out Bob Duck and Weave, uh, Jay Shock Blast, and many others who are also in that Illuminati group, Lejeune. Um, they probably have a little bit more information that they were given than that's not on the blog, like I said. Um, but yeah, this has been a really good treat. Um, <laughs> June's end is not too far around, so I'm excited to be playing as Jane Foster soon. I hope you are too. 
I'll catch you guys later. Peace.